Hello everybody, this is Jay Morielli again. Welcome to tutorial number seven. So I've taken the liberty, uh, we're gonna make, I'm sorry, we're gonna make the uh, contact resistance translation, transmission line method structure to uh, determine contact resistance of the graphene. And so I've taken the liberty to make the, the template and then I've already created the uh, two forms for A and B and we're just gonna convert them into our our form. So we're going to go to form select zoom in here a little bit. It's a little bit rather long structure. Okay, so we've got nine things selected, is that right? So there's one, two, three, four, five contacts and four lines. So that's gonna be our A. And now we're gonna select our outline. And that polygon is gonna be the B. And then we're going to tell it to do the Boolean A exclusive or B and delete the two starting pieces. And let's see, did we get the right thing? Yay, we did. Okay, so now we're going to clear our selection. We're going to go to the form. We've selected our, our cell and we're going to delete it. And then we notice that we were on the wrong layer. We'll, for our, so we want to move it. So select, go to put it on layer two, right mouse click, move to layer. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to install our contacts. Contacts. Okay. And now we just have to put in our um, our graphene exposure. Should probably make a uh, box. Fill that with another box. Okay, so now let's just check to make sure our, our structure looks good. So we're gonna turn everything off. Okay, well, layer number two shows us uh, where the graphene is gonna be in our, our, our graphene islands. So what this is, is it's um, four, five contacts, and the distance between each contact doubles each time. So this is a spacing of one contact sp space so that I maintain my um, uh, in integer multiple of the pad to pad spacing. So that's 180 microns. So this is one contact spacing. This is a uh, double contact spacing, three, three times contact spacing and four times contact spacing. And what you do is you measure between contact 
contact sets and plot the resistance of each one in a plot. So you have R, 2R, 3R, 4R, and if you go between this contact and this contact, you'll have 3R and so on and so forth. So you can build a plot of what the resistivity is. And then where that line intersects the y-axis will tell you what the contact resistance is. So we're going to look at just zoom in an area here. And you can see we have our graphene channel. And we'll have our graphene area here when we expose it. So the graphene gets exposed. Let's move down here. And then when we put our contacts on, the metal contacts will will give us a place to place our probes. Okay, so that concludes making the contact resistant measurement structure. Okay, we'll put all these things into our die in the next uh, tutorial. All right, thank you.